In Roger Federer's warm-up routine, he included a resistant band. The aim here is to gain strength. As you can see, the maestro did not focus much when it comes on building big muscles, but rather a little bit of strength. And right here, he is doing a kind of resistant band squat that is beneficial to his knees, back and arms. It's good to warm up these muscles to avoid any cases of injuries. The other thing is almost forgot to add is the excess uh, the pulling of the band can add the grip strength which is uh, I think is vital to tennis. Also engage in a regimen that enhances reflexes which are a pivotal strategy for tennis players seeking to elevate their game. The Swiss guy, his training routine involved a dynamic exercise designed to accelerate his reflexes, a crucial attribute su for success on the court. In this drill, Roger has his coach hurling balls at him and his mission is clear. Return them before they hit the ground or second time. Ball on ball shock. This exercise serves as a multifaceted approach to skill development beyond merely honing reflexes. It delves into improving footwork, reactions and volley, making it an indispensable part of Roger, Roger's training repertoire. Each swift and calculated movement contributes not only to his reflexes but also refining refines his overall coordination. The emphasis on footwork here is particularly noteworthy, my friend. A tennis player's ability to navigate court with agility and precision is fundamental to gaining a strategic advantage over opponent. In this uh, Rogers training session, he ensures that his feet move seamlessly, responding in instantaneously to the trajectory of the incoming ball. This refined footwork is a cornerstone for any successful tennis player, enhancing both defensive and offensive capabilities. Reaction to are uh, put to the test in this exercise as the ball's hustle toward him, Roger's split second decision making becomes paramount, a quick accurate assessment of the ball's speed, speed spin. The trajectory are vital for executing a successful return. This not only sharpens his reflexes but also cal cultivates a mental agility that is valuable during high-stake matches. Let's not forget the focus on volley, an integral aspect of night play, further underscores the comprehensive nature of this exercise. Roger's ability to volley effectively is not merely about raw strength but also timing and precision. Roger's warm-up routine is more than just a prelude of, to the game. It's carefully orchestrated symphony of physical preparation and one key element of this tune is his jogging session on the tennis court. Ma the maestro before the intensity of the match, he always engaged in a short interval of jogging. It's not just a casual jog, it's a strategic move to hone his skills and fortifying his body for the challenges ahead. Why jogging? Well. In the world of tennis, running is a disputed champion of aerobic condition. It's not uh, merely about posting, boosting cardio and endurance. It's about uh, sculpting the ever, the every essence of players' performance. Someone like Federer, with his unparalleled, unparalleled finesse on the tennis court, understands the profound impact to uh, impact running can have on a speed and footwork, two facets crucial for tennis maestro. As he carefully weaves through this short interval, Federer is just clocking miles, he is investing in, in the strength of his joints and muscles. The rhythmic uh, pounding of, this, of his feet against the court isn't just a warm-up, it's a calculated strategy to prepare his body for the prolonged bouts of activity that await him. After all, in the dance of tennis, where agility is paramount, strong joints and muscles are the unsung hero. So Federer's jog serves as the masterclass in energy dynamics. It's a workout that not only bounds fat but fuels, but for fuels also uh, stockpiles glycogen in his muscles, ensuring a wellspring of energy during the rigorous game. The strategic balance is the secret source behind his 
sustain brilliance on the court. Effortlessly glided from one corner to the other. In his warm up, we also include rope jumps and cone drills. Why rope jumps? You may ask. Well, not only are they affordable and portable, but they also offer a killer combo of footwork, finesse, and durance boost, and serious score workout. Rogers, not just jumping for joy, is jumping his way to tennis greatness. Now, let's talk about these cone drills. These cone drills are his go to for developing acceleration that leaves opponent in the dust, mastering light fast change of direction and acing those tricky forward and backward movement. It's like a dance, but with the cones, the mo those cones, they are like Roger's personal ballet pa partner, helping him to finance his movement with precision. Each, with each drill is not just working on his footwork speed, he's capturing the kind of agility that keeps him on step ahead of the tennis court. So his routine, Roger's mantra is, is clear. Keep it simple, keep it effective. Then he adds eye hand connection skill. Picture this. Back at uh, back at rally at Wimbledon and Roger Federer effortlessly used to glide across the court. It was not just about the guess in his movement, it was the intricate connection between his eyes and, and hands. Tennis players like Maestro here fine tune their eye hand connection to perfection. It's, a, it's the dynamic duo that ensures every swing and serve is a symphony of precision. Tennis players develop a fast twitch muscles in their arms and legs through constant agile movement. These muscles are like turbo boost of res for responsiveness. When the ball comes hurtling towards them, it's not just about the raw power, it's about the rapid fire response. These muscles are facilitated. Yes, tennis isn't just a physical workout, it's a visual feast. Player cultivates fast twitch muscles in their eyes, enhancing the ability to track, uh, to track that fuzzy yellow ball with the ninja-like precision. It's the kind of eye speed that allows them to decode the ball's trajectory, trajectory in a split second and respond with um, pinpoint accuracy. Lastly, he does stretching. This session here does it at the beginning and at the end of the warm-up routine. The best advice is dynamic stretching is the best perform once your muscles are warm up a little. Avoid static stretching as it can negatively impact your workout and fatigue your muscles.